Welcome back everyone. On this episode, we're going to really start making this car look like a car by building the buck for the main centerpiece, which is the bonnet of the car. It's the, going to be the biggest bit, it's going to be the hardest bit. For a start, I had obviously had my 3D model drawn already and I sliced it up in SolidWorks and turned it into some sort of 3D puzzle. I actually went ahead and made a small one of these first just to check everything was going to work because it was very experimental and then I went on to get the whole thing cut. So we're just over here at AccuCut. Now that's my work over there so I'm straight across the street from me. These guys do some really awesome stuff helping me out quite a bit and uh, as you can see here's some samples. They have lasers and water jet and a CNC mill which we'll see in a sec, they do all sorts of signage and stuff like we do, engineering stuff. Here's one water jet there, another big one there. That's flat out working. Big mill, all sorts of stuff. Hey Matt. <laughs> Good. And the stuff that he's been doing for us is pretty cool just through here. Here's Mitch, he's just working on it now. <laughs> and we've got the front buck for the car all cut out. Big stack of MDF there, been cut out on this laser here. They have two different lasers and a laser extra here. And uh, this thing whips it out in no time and the accuracy is unreal. You can see some of the waste sheets there all just locks together some of those longer bits we've um made so they'll piece together and uh we'll see that later all right it's a uh, really nice day here next day and what i did last night was just got get home and laid out all the parts ready to go i've got the um little demo version that i did uh here to go off and I've also got obviously got the computer inside as well if I get stuck, but it's time to try and start putting this puzzle together. Now the, the first thing I'm I'm gonna do here is as you can see the the puzzle type pieces. In fact, it looks like that one there would lock in there. Bring it out to the side. So I'm just going to first of all go and put some of those bits together that um, just just need to be joined to become their part. That was only due to the size on the um, laser to cut them. They're a bit longer than what's going to fit. So I just had to do that, which is really easy with the laser because the, the fit is so good. Finally made some progress on this buck. It was it went together nicely, but um, big thanks to Eli and Gary for hanging around, and giving me a hand because it would have been uh, pretty tricky on my own to fit all those bits together. Now the glue wasn't working how I hoped it would, um, and I think it's just due to how cold it is out here. Because I got some quick set stuff, hoping that I could just sort of glue, move on to the next bit, and you know throughout a day, hopefully get lots of things glued. But it turned out that. Uh, it's actually taking quite a long time for the glue to go off, maybe like four to six hours before I can trust it that it will hold. But that's uh, all right. Like I just, it fitted together so tightly anyway. Like you can see like that there, that isn't even glued because it just, they just fit in so tight that it doesn't really matter. They're not going to move. I am slowly going through and doing the ones that do matter. And... 
as you can see, you can sort of start to see the shape coming together. It's looking really good. I'm getting pretty close to test fitting it on the car. These ones here, uh, this one here is hopefully complete now. Oh, I might have put a little bit more glue on some of the centre bits. And this one here still has either side to go on. But that's just because with how slow the glue's going, I've been running out of uh, clamps. Matt from AccuCut was kind enough to give me a sheet of 3mm MDF. And that's really sweet because that's what I'm going to use to cover like the flat surface on the bonnet. Maybe a little bit down the sides. Where, where it works, where I can use it, that's what I'm going to use to keep things nice and flowing and tight. And then in between I'm going to fill it. Finally got all the um, different shapes in their bunches, I guess, or together in their blocks like that. And the next step I'm going to do is make them sit on the car to where they need to be. Um, we're going to have to do a wee cut here over where the um, bearing and that sits for the bell crank. And then this top one needs quite a bit to get down because I obviously want to get that height there down to there. In the front, I'm not, not too worried about it sitting up off here a bit, so that's easy, but this one isn't. And as you can see, all i really got to do is notch out the back and then notch out for that tube through there. But the tricky one is this one on either side because it runs right down where that tube there runs down and this interferes with it as well. So... Now that it's all together, I actually haven't glued this back section yet because I knew I wanted to work on this. So what I'm probably going to do is actually cut that one down there, pick it out, trim it up until it fits down where I want it, and then pop it back in. Um, these ones here, hopefully I'm going to be able to do in place. The middle ones might be tricky, but I'll see how I get on. Even if I have to cut quite a bit out of this one and less out of that one to fit it like a tool through to do it, um, that would be perfectly fine, but it's going to be a weird mission and a step backwards to go forwards, but I think it'll end up being worthwhile. And as you can see, it's really starting to look like something new. major setback a bit of a disaster the uh, whole front end I screwed together uh, for spacing to sort of build everything off and uh, I was trying to move it on my own lift it up and the glue failed like it's screwed down there but above it where the uh, uprights go to the bottom failed and it fell off and smashed on the floor broke that bit off at the join that's not too bad but then all these little bits um, it's going to be a right pain. I'm going to have to now try glue it all back together, hope that it stays symmetrical to the other side. And um, yeah, I'm going to maybe add some little screw blocks like that to try and help support it a bit more. But yeah, oh well, just a wee hold up. I'll uh, glue it together and, and keep trucking. The front's coming together real nice. So. Alrighty, so now we've got the... Uh, the buck here I've come in and started putting this 3mm MDF on the curves that sort of just have one curve so you can see this this main one just sort of curves in one direction it's not trying to curve out to the sides either where it starts to curve out to the sides there's there's nothing there is another flat bit sort of through here where I might add some more today we'll just um, play around with that see how it goes and then the idea is to fill in these other spots that have these complex multiple curves um, my friend Eli had a really good idea to put um, tape on the top side of it, flip this thing upside down because I have some expanding foam for filling moulds. 
So I'll do that, flip it upside down, pour that in, and uh, that'll be the next step. Now also has arrived these uh, headlight, I don't know, holders. So these are for a a five and a half, uh, five and three quarter inch headlight. Now I wanted to go much smaller, but with the rules of um, what they need to be, it turns out that um, this is pretty much as small as I can go. So they're gonna sort of be mounting up in there somehow, sort of tucked in there, maybe about there. I don't know, kind of need to get the body on to, to, to get a bit of feel for that. But it's coming along nice, and uh, I'll keep you updated on, on how that starts to work out. I am just trying to work this stuff out. I've watched a lot of YouTube, and um, everyone says different things. So I'm just winging it and trying to work it out for myself. So let's go. You could try to play, but you're never going to be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange yeah. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test yeah. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next year? He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing, new focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention, I'll leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon, 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you never gonna be me So now we have uh, wrapped plastic in under here, stapled it all from the other side to get sort of the rough shape out Now we've flipped it upside down made some little gutters which we're not sure if they'll do anything but we'll give it a go and we're going to mix up some two-part pore expanding foam and pour it into some of these places and try and get it to foam up in here and make that um, nice and hard to start getting our shaping done For the next part, me and my buddy James started to use the pore expanding foam. Now it was pretty funny, we thought we had it wrong and then it started foaming like crazy and uh, it turned out to be pretty fun to use. So we filled up all the wee pockets and eventually it took a few stages because we ended up leaning on the side and things but eventually we had the whole underside filled with this foam and we're able to flip it over and start shaping it.
uh, foaming sun to be shaped out. My mate James uh, was over staying with us and he gave me a hand. He sort of shaped a whole lot of this while I was working on, on that. And it's looking really good. We decided, I sort of had the cut out there for the shock. But after thinking about it for a while, what I'm going to do is I've filled that in. And I've also got this tape here. I'm going to put a bit more foam in the back of this. And I'm going to make the bonnet like that. And then do the shock cut out later. I think it's just going to um, make for a better finish on how that works out. And uh, if I ever wanted to do another bonnet which didn't have the shock bits, I could, which would be kind of nice to be able to do. Also have to say a massive thanks for Harley. He came around, he gave me a whole lot of plaster, taught me how to use it, did this first coat for me, and made it look really easy, and gave me tips along the way um, after the fact, and, and now I feel I have the grass with using the stuff. Nowhere near as good as him, but I can get uh, a shape made. out this a little I've got my first coat on and you can see it's still a little patchy with um, color you can see where it's still wet and first uh, got the cutout pieces for the buck and it was nine months ago so this has been a nine month process to build this buck but I'm really happy it looks all nice and smooth now shiny it's still a bit wet from my I've just given it a thousand grit wet sand and it is really nice feels really nice to touch um, there is one wee imperfection I've seen somewhere but but it's so tiny, I'm sure there might be some more show up. I believe like when I put some of the release agent to build the mold, it's going to get some wee wrinkles and stuff anyway. So I'm not too concerned about that tiny little piece. I am finally glad to say the buck is done after nine months. So thanks for coming along on the journey on this one. And next is the really, really scary part. This is the, probably the scariest part of the whole build for me. Literally just spent nine months building this part. Now I'm going to cover it in fiberglass and hope that it releases. If it all binds together, um, I've heard stories of people having to take the whole piece to the dump and get rid of it. So I really hope that doesn't happen. I'm going to be taking all the steps to try and make sure that doesn't happen. And hopefully in the next episode we'll have a mold. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.